Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today uh, we're going to be moving on to part two of my uh, TNS Road to Glory, the New Saints Road to Glory that I've started doing on my channel. If you did miss uh, part one, link to that will be in the description below so you can go check it out for yourself if you did miss it. Now, I'm going to be not using webcam again. Uh, I think it's the way forward to videos like this. And maybe if I was to do videos on a, maybe like a, a website like Amigle or something, if you guys know what that is, um, I might use webcam on that. But we're going to try maybe play about three to four group stage matches in this episode. Maybe even finish the group stages. It, it really depends on how much I can get done for this episode. But uh, yeah, let's crack on. We uh, managed to get to the group stages. If you didn't watch part one, uh, we did actually beat. Uh, who was it again? Uh, one second. <laughs> I'm gonna actually have a little look. Who see who it was? It's a little bit of a fail on my behalf. Actually, uh, this is the second qualifying round. If you did miss it, we beat uh, F91 Jude Lang, a Dutch team, five two on aggregate, and we advanced. We got to the third qualifying round, which will beat Panathinaikos four one on aggregate, the Greek team. And then a playoff round, we did beat Bayern Leverkusen 7-2. A bit of an unrealistic score, but uh, now in the group stages. In our group, we have Barcelona, Shakhtar, uh, sorry, uh, Schalke and CSKA. So our first game is against CSKA. Uh, I play with no play field, and the only player I can use is Greg Draper uh, for the TNS. For TNS, if you're wondering why I'm using TNS and what uh, this road glory is about, go check out part one if you uh, haven't already. I don't play with any weather or angry fans on because it's not something I like to do. But moving on then into game one against uh, Schalke. So into the first group match then of our group. I'm actually playing CSK. Uh, I'm sorry, I might have said Schalke. But it's just one minute long. I think we're playing a goalkeeper, Igor Akinviv. We're using obviously Greg, Dra Greg Draper, the only player we can use. But let's see if we can start off the group stages uh, a good way. There you go, 1-0 up, uh, 47 seconds remaining. I'm hoping to get uh, the six points from both the two games against CSK, but as we have a fail on my behalf, because I know the games against Barcelona and Schalke are going to be quite difficult, so I'm hoping to maybe get at least four points from the two games we do play against CSK. You obviously play each of the other three teams in your group twice, if you don't know the format of the Champions League group stage. But there you go, 2-1. We're back in the lead now, but obviously I can see the uh, CSK aren't letting, letting a, a little while seem like us uh, uh, beat it, beat them. Uh, and they're home, I'm guessing. I think they're home for this leg. Well, for this match anyway, and I think uh, the games, the game in Wales is next. But Eagle, we almost got a lovely chip. Uh, because he didn't actually put that into his own net. Uh, they, maybe they fixed the air, I'm not entirely sure. But Eagle 4 1, he, he went out of his goal and he managed to capitalise on that. And we did win the game, the first game 4 1. We're actually top of our group, uh, unrealistically. Schalke and Barcelona drew 3 3. Schalke, sorry. Uh, next up, we do have. Uh, Schalke at home, and that was actually away uh, to CSKA, which is quite interesting. Uh, so let's go into our second game of the group stages against the uh, German side. Okay, so hopefully we can pick up another win here. It'd be quite nice. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what to expect for Schalke. They ended up using Klaasli and Huntelaar for this game. So this one, I'm thinking it might end in a draw on a Schalke. Uh, obviously a much bigger team than CSKA, but maybe we can shock them and get a... Uh, a win under our hands would be quite nice. It'd be nice if we could go the whole group stage unbeaten. But uh, I think that's probably going to be unlikely. I do slay up now and then. But it's 2-0 to us. Uh, we've got 38 seconds left. So this has gone fantastically well so far, actually. So at the moment, we're doing actually really well. It looks like we're going to be staying top of our group as well uh, at the end of this match. If you'd like me to go through all the other groups as well to tell you how they're doing, uh, if maybe one of your favourite teams is in another group that's not in my group, uh, if you want to, if you want me to, you know, show you all the group stages, maybe for the next episode, let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I'd be in interested to know if you, if you'd like to see that happen. But we're annihilating Schalke, if you want to use that term, uh, six nil. So I, I wasn't really uh, expecting that because you know Schalke, a much better team than the New Saints, but we are still top of the league. Oh, the group. Sorry, we saw ten goals, which is surprising. In the first two games we have played, now we have sort of the big boys of the group, Barcelona, obviously, you know, with your Messi, Suarez, Neymar. Who are they going to be using? They're using Suarez, so an excellent football player. So maybe we, a draw in this game would be realistic, uh, for me anyway. Obviously, in real life, uh, Barcelona will probably sort of smash, if you, you want to use that term, uh, the new Saints. But obviously, this is just a game, so I'm probably going to do quite well, considering I do actually play this a lot, and I have the YouTube series on it as well. But we've not made a good start to this game. 37 seconds remaining, and we are down 1-0. 
So maybe we can get another a goal back, or we could be facing our first defeat. But nope, there we go. One one with twenty eight seconds remaining. Maybe now we can go and uh, salvage maybe another goal or get the three points and steal it under their noses. But it seems like it's going to be quite a close game. But he, I I scored a stupid on goal. I do uh, make some little mistakes now and then like that, so I do apologise on that behalf. We've got 10 seconds left, there has to be a goal now or never, we're going to be losing to Barcelona, uh, which I, I wouldn't be too, too de de depressed about, but uh, there you go, three seconds remaining, we managed to get a goal and cement our place uh, against them. We salvaged the points, so the top three is looking quite close at the moment, we've got seven points, Barcelona have five, Schalke have four points, and the CSK are yet to win a game uh, they, uh, on the no, no points, and they've conceded the most as well. They got the worst goal, uh, goals uh, scored against them. So let's move on to our next game. We're now playing uh, CSK again. A big game for them. They really need to win to get off the bottom of the group. But uh, it's an important game for us as well. See if we can try and score even more goals. So on to the fourth game now of this episode. We're getting through them quite nicely. We might be able to actually finish the group stages in this episode and maybe move on to the next knockout round if we manage to get there. So we are playing, I think this is Tosic, uh, the X1 United player now for CSK. A big game for them. They obviously need to beat me really to, to even have a, any chance of, of getting into the knock, knockout stages. But uh, I'm going to be trying to get, get another win as well. Stay at the top of the group. I know Barcelona and Schalke are right behind me now, especially after that draw. I know that them two are playing each other now, so it's a big, important game for me as well. And you go 1-0 up with 33 seconds remaining. This could possibly seal CSKA's fate in the Champions League. And we actually hit the bar there, but that's okay. It's good to see, uh, again, that he didn't actually push it into his own goal. But uh, he did run out there, rush out of his goal, and we did manage to make it 2-0. So 17 seconds remaining. Looks like we're, we're going to be staying, uh, undefeated as well. It's going to be our third win, and we've actually drawn one, obviously. That was the last game against Barcelona, so... Leave a like as well if you are enjoying this little series. It's obviously part two. I don't even think it's going to be 10, 10 episodes. I'm not sure why I said about that. I did say that last episode, but I think it might only be even five. But I didn't expect, didn't expect it for us to be going this this quickly anyway. So there we are. We are top of the group, uh, 10 points. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, uh, CSK are now out. They can't actually get a higher than uh, second place, unfortunately. We scored 15 goals. We conceded three, which is not bad. We have two games left now. That's against Schalke and Barcelona, both away. We did well to beat them 3-0 at home. So I'm going to just go through uh, the final, the uh, other groups as well. Uh, that'll be it for gameplay here now. Uh, we'll move on to tomorrow's ep uh, Monday's episode sorry, uh, to show you the final two remaining games and maybe uh, show you who we, we're going to have in the next round, which is obviously the knockout phase of the Champions League. So in Group A, we have Arsenal, Atletico Bilbao, Man City and Lincoln Red Imps. We've never heard of before. Arsenal, uh, pretty much uh, through now, but uh, it's sort of tight between Atletico and Manchester City. Group B, uh, it's quite tight at the top between Chelsea and PSG. Olympiacos just behind in third, so it's two games left in that group as well. Benfica Sporting, Juventus and Anderlecht are in Group C. Uh, it's still quite close in that group. Bayern Munich uh, pretty much sealed uh, their fate in the next round now. Well, their fate, you know, their pro progression in the next round. They've actually done really well in that group. It's sort of between Shakhtar and Galatasaray right now. It could even be outside of Applewell, uh, depending on how they do as well. And uh, the, ne the next few groups, Group E, we have Basel and Roma and Napoli. That's quite and Porto, sorry, and then Napoli. Quite a close group there. Could be between Basel and Rome for the top spot. I think uh, Napoli will probably not be able to advance, but who knows? And then in Group F, we have Real Madrid, Liverpool, Dortmund, and Copenhagen, which I obviously did show you last episode. Real Madrid on course to win the group, uh, but it's up between the Liverpool, Dortmund, and Copenhagen to see who can actually get second place. And in Group H, Atletico Madrid, the top of 10 points, Ajax in second, Zenit in third, and Legia. Varsa, who uh, looks like be, they're going to be going out, no points yet, and it uh, looks like uh, Atletico already through, but it's sort of between Ajax and Zenit for the second place. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Next episode, we will be having uh, Schalke and Barcelona the next two matches to see if we can stay unbeaten. Uh, maybe even win the group, that'd be quite nice. Uh, I appreciate if you do find this unrealistic, but it's just, it's just a bit of fun, you know. Uh, maybe TNS supporters, if they watch my videos, would like this uh, to continue. But uh, if you want to see part three, drop a like on the video. Uh, maybe we get the video to five likes. Appreciate that. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be uh, still using uh, no, no webcams in my videos unless you guys would like me to 
put a webcam back on. But yeah, I'm going to get going. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let's see if we can get TS all the way to the final. That's been part two done. See you uh, Monday for part three. Bye-bye.